Hey everyone, it's Amber, and today I'm going to be doing my fall anticipated releases. So basically, I made an anticipated releases video at the beginning of the summer, but it was kind of all over the place because I picked books from like everywhere that I was excited about. But for the fall, I've organized them because I found so many books that are coming out in the fall that I didn't know were coming out and I'm so, so excited for them. So I really, really want to talk about those books because I didn't mention them in that video. There are one or two, I think, in this video that I did mention in that video, but I'm not leaving them out of this because they're coming out in the fall and I want to make sure everyone knows about those books as well. So. I'm just gonna get straight into it because I have quite a few books to talk about and this goes up until the very beginning of November. The first book that we have is Serpent and Dove and this one comes out on September 3rd. So basically everyone is talking about this book. I have seen so many people get arcs of this. I think at BookCon is where they were giving out arcs but I'm not quite sure. But I didn't go to any of the book conventions and I really want to go. But anyway, this book follows a girl named Louise and she has fled her coven. That's right, coven. Witches! Yes, I'm so excited. So basically she's fled her coven into this other place and she's given up her magic because the place that she has gone to basically burns witches and she... we don't want that. Then there is a guy that we follow and his name is Reed and he's sworn that he will always kill any witches that he encounters. But then in some sort of event, him and Lou slash Louise have to get married. So basically there's a war between witches and the church and it seems like she actually falls in love with this guy. I don't know, but it just sounds really, really good. That's about all that I know for a summary of this book, but it sounds so good. And I think that witches is definitely one of my buzzwords. I think anything about witches is so interesting. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading this. September 3rd is when this comes out, so definitely check it out. The next one is called Tunnel of Bones, which also comes out on September 3rd. This is the second book in City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab, and of course, Queen Victoria Schwab. I will read anything by her. But this is the second book, so I'm going to tell you guys about the first book. So basically, the first book follows this young girl. It's a middle grade series, um, and but it kind of reads young adult, honestly. It basically... It follows this girl and her parents have gotten a paranormal TV show like um, Ghost Adventures and stuff and it follows them to Scotland where they go. That's right Scotland, yes, I'm so excited. I loved it so much um, and she has had a near-death experience so she can talk to ghosts and kind of cross over to the other side and she's kind of figuring that out in the first book. But it's just really, really, really good. And I'm pumped to read the second book for the fall because I read City of Ghosts and that was one of the only books I was able to read during the fall semester last year. And I know that the second one I will read in the fall semester again because it was so good. The next one is called Kingdom of Souls. So it follows this girl named Ara and she's grown up in a family of witch doctors, but she's trying to call forth her own magic, but it's just not happening and her mother completely disapproves of the fact that she doesn't have any magic and she's kind of looked down upon for not having magic. So uh, Ara is considering trading years of her life for magic in little pieces because I guess that is one thing that you can do to get magic. But then the children in her kingdom keep going missing and she's determined to figure out who is doing it. And then she discovers that the demon king is rising again. She decides to trade her years of her life for magic so that she can go stop it. That just, it just sounds so good. This sounds so high stakes, so fantastic. And I love magic and kingdoms and witches and stuff like that. And I just think that this is gonna be so good. It sounds like a really epic fantasy book. I don't know if it's a series or not, but we'll see. Um, but I have a funny story about witches. This is why I keep coming up with these, finding these witch books and wanting to read them. I, for Halloween, like every single year, dressed up as a different variety of a witch when I was little and I didn't even realize I was doing it. Like I was Hermione, I was a generic witch with like green hair, I was a candy corn witch, I was like a full-on like gown witch. I was a lot of different 
witches and I dressed up as one like literally every year because I just loved them and I still do. So the next one is called Wayward Sun and it comes out on October 3rd. This is the second book to carry on by Rainbow Rowell and this follows obviously Simon Snow and Baz on their adventures that take place after the uh, first book. I don't really want to describe the second book because just in case you guys haven't read the first book but Carry On is a spin-off of Fangirl. It is the fan fiction that she basically wrote in Fangirl. Set in a world that's very reminiscent of Harry Potter so they go to a boarding school and they are learning magic basically um, and Simon and Baz are roommates. It's really 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 good. It's not too much like Harry Potter um, but it is reminiscent of Harry Potter and it's a good thing to read if you are in the mood for something like that um, but I'm very excited for this book I think it's gonna be so good and I'm really really looking forward to picking it up and seeing what happens in the series because it was not supposed to happen this was not supposed to get a sequel but it did and I'm so grateful and so happy that it has a sequel the final book that I have comes out in November and that is The Toll by Neil Shusterman. So this is the third and final book in the Scythe trilogy. This follows the first book, which I will describe, but I'm not going to tell about the, the third book because I don't want to spoil anything once again. But the first book follows Citra and Rowan and they are apprentices to a scythe and they're trying to learn how to become scythes because in their world death has been eradicated and scythes are basically how they perform gleanings slash killings of people to keep the population down. Um, and these scythes are carefully chosen so that they're not biased or anything and they have a whole ritual of how they do it. But things kind of start to go wrong because some scythes start to kind of enjoy killing people. And um, the politics of the world, there's kind of like the new order in the old order um, and it's very very interesting um, I thought it was gonna be something completely different than it ended up being because I didn't know about like the politics and everything but it's very philosophical and it really does make you think and I've described this so many times to you guys and I feel bad that I keep describing this book over and over again but I definitely think that it's a great series that everyone needs to read and I'm so excited for the third one because where the second one went was insane and I'm very interested to see where the series goes in general so I am very very excited. This is one of my most anticipated reads for the fall. That is it for my fall anticipated releases. I hope that you guys are excited for some of these books too because I'm very excited um, but let me know if there's any that I missed that you guys are excited about because I love to keep them on my radar and hopefully read them at some point very soon but if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below if you want to see more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one bye Words that I say, downtown the lights out, but we choose to stay. I don't know where this may go. These strangers know 